America's history is full of battle and conflict. Now there's a war brewing over the way that U.S. history is being taught in classrooms across the country. Conservatives have taken aim at the new curriculum framework or guidelines for AP U.S. history class. They say the guidelines are biased and unpatriotic because they don't specifically mention key parts of history. For example, in Oklahoma, Republican State Representative Dan Fisher initially wanted to do away with the entire class, but backed off after a public outcry. There appears to be a pretty strong leaning about everything that is wrong with America. For instance, there's room in it to talk about the Black Panthers, but not room to talk about Martin Luther King. In fact, Martin Luther King is mentioned in the guidelines, as are the Black Panthers. But the woman who started this movement says it's not about specific examples. It's what she believes is a liberal theme throughout. The new one talks about giving special emphasis to race, gender, class, and ethnic identities. That is sort of the, the leftist um, uh, goal of having all of history viewed through that lens. Jane Robbins is with a conservative think tank and is pushing for change. There was a relentless negative drumbeat about America. Robbins' outrage led the RNC to issue a memo calling the new guidelines, quote, a biased and inaccurate view of many important events in history. After the RNC got involved, the issue exploded across the country, with conservatives in at least a half a dozen states calling for a review of the curriculum or for ending the AP U.S. history course altogether. <laughs> Nowhere has this been so disruptive as in Jefferson County, Colorado, where students held protests in defense of the course and even walked out of class. I was insulted. Teachers like Stephanie Rossi say they make the ultimate decisions about what is taught and that politicians should stay out of the classroom. The thought that a board member that is supposed to represent an educational institution is assuming that history teachers in, in her district are going to lead kids to be un-American and unpatriotic. The College Board, which administers AP courses for colleges and universities, says the debate has been marred by misinformation and gave this statement to CNN, saying in the face of these attacks, AP teachers and students, our member institutions and the American people can rest assured the College Board will not compromise the integrity of the Advanced Placement Program. Sarah Ganim, CNN, New York.